So here we have an example of a uh, dynamic motion. And there's two main ways we can use dynamic motion. One of them is when you're hitting a mark where you're saying something happens at this frame. So for example, the ball is released at this frame and then we can see Jimmy here from uh, Tumblehead Studios. He'll be catching it at this, at this frame in the 80s here. <clears throat> so it's basically saying we're going from this frame to that frame and help me get the motion that would be physically accurate for how that ball would move uh, based on the parameters of leaving at this frame and catching on this frame. And I just have, uh, I've already done it before, so here's just an animation layer that I'm just gonna turn on. And so now when we hit the mark, that's the angle, that's the path that the ball would take to be able to get into to those two motions. So um, we'll go over that in a bit just to explain it. And here's another example. And this is the second example where we are using are um, being able to have the creative control over it. So now we're going to be throwing it and it's going to change our animation. So now he's going to be uh, catching it at a different frame because that ball is now moving differently. So now this is where we have creative control over it uh, to decide how high we want to throw it. So let's just take a look at uh, some simpler examples of this just to uh, explain it a little bit better. So the first thing I'm going to do is use control uh, shift on this just to get my uh, green uh, thing in here. And we'll, we're going to take a look at Jimmy. And I just have an example set up here. And one of the tips that you could do is if you have an animation that you have here, and I'm just going to frame on this, um, it's just a basic rough animation. If you want to work on something without uh, testing this, you can just use the Alt uh, Drag method or Control C, Control V on there and just make a copy of it. So now you can work on it and still have your safe copy uh, to work on here. So we're going to take a look at this for Jimmy. And again, um, we just have some very rough animation. Again, just every five frames in here of Jimmy just going to be heading the ball up there. And what we're going to do here is we're just gonna set the contact points on this. So wherever we want that ball to um, to be hit. So I'm just gonna set a few frames here, just make it, move it around a bit, just to get it so he's gonna be heading it on all these spots here. And now when we take a look at this, we could see the ball is just not really doing anything nice, but we could take a look at uh, dynamic motion to get this motion in there really quickly, way easier than we'd be able to hand key it. So if I hold down C and I get my radio menu, or you could take a look at it up here, um, is I'm gonna go into dynamic motion. And when we're in here, uh, I'm gonna use control G and we could see that we now have dynamic motion settings in here. And if I hold G, uh, we also have this in the palms here. So you can see it's the mode is basic and we're just gonna leave that on there because this is where we're hitting a mark. It's gonna hit a frame and we want the, the in between those frames for the animation to be done. And you can see it's actually, I need to reset this because I had something on there. So I'm just gonna reset this and we'll start it from scratch. So the first thing we're gonna do is we wanna set the center of mass. And that's just, we only have one control on this. If we had like a, character with multiple, we can select three of them and it'll give us a different center of mass. But for the ball, it's right in the center here. So um, what we can do, and again, if you open up your Shift F1, you'll see the little hints here, depending on what tool you're in. So uh, you can select center of mass as H, um, and then you can take a look through these for how you want to do that. So I'm gonna hit H to do that for uh, doing it. And down here, switch to say, start a new projectile motion. And so we want to start it here. It's going to be hitting it uh, on here. I'm going to hit H. Then I'm going to go to frame 10 and I'm going to uh, hit H again. And because I'm going to, it's a bouncing one, it's going to be the exact same frame. I'm going to hit H again and do this for the same thing, setting my uh, end position and start position. And we're just going to end it with the end position. And uh, what we can see right here is I'm going to turn on the dynamic uh, motion path. <clears throat> and what we can see is it's created uh, the motion that we need in there. So now we just have it bouncing really quickly in there. And let me just change this to frame uh, 50. And 
So now we get we get that nice bouncy motion without needing to do anything on there. It was really, really quick to be able to do. But we could still change that if we want. <clears throat> so say we have something here where we want um, uh, Jimmy to hit it with his hand on this frame. So I'm just gonna move this out here. Just, again, just really rough animation. Just gonna hit it and we'll just get it here. So hit it and then we're back into that. So um, in our dynamic motion, what I could do is I'm just gonna reset this again. I'm gonna select the ball, do the same thing, set the center of mass, set my beginning position. Actually, before I do this, what I want to do is change it so that this frame here, um, and I'm just gonna reset this. I'm gonna take this frame here of the ball and instead of being on his head, I'm gonna move it to his hand. So Jimmy will just be bouncing it with his hand. And this is where things can get tricky because now you're moving it through space in different angles. And trying to animate that and guess how high it should be and everything can take quite a long time to make it look right. But this way we can just do it really quickly. All right, so let's do this again. And you can see our animation on that ball is just drifting out there and back. So we're gonna set our center of mass, begin our uh, hit, hit the end of the projectile motion, start a new one. Now we have our new position. You can see it's giving us a new arc here. Do the same thing, do the thing, H, H, H. And now when we look through it, now we get him hitting it with his hand. In a fraction of the time, again, we have the proper arcs to the physical motion of it. So this is an example of being able to uh, get it um, hitting a mark. You're hitting the frames that you want to be on there. And really quickly, way quicker than I could have keyed it. Now, what we could do is if I like this animation, is I can go into the baking. We have a few baking options that we could do here. We could bake it every single frame. Uh, you can decide how many frames, every second frame you wanna do it, every fifth frame. In this case though, I'm gonna just bake essential keys. And what this will do is it'll just give me the essential keys of this ball um, to be what it needs to be to get this uh, motion path. So if we take a look at this here and we see our ball, there's uh, nothing really going on. The TY is pretty sloppy and everything here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bake the keys to a new layer and this will give us a new layer right here. And so now when I hit bake keys, you can see, look at my nice curve for my TY. It's giving me that, it's generated all the keys that I need in there so that I get that proper motion. And we now have a new uh, layer on here. So what we can do is go back out to animate and I'm just gonna turn this off. And now we have our keys ready to go on that ball, ready to animate. And so if we want to do any changes, we could do that really quickly because we're not limited to where it was. So if we wanted to move this a little bit higher, say we wanted to do it, now we can just start changing this. And we can get the, we can start doing it. But of course now we can take a look at our curves and uh, if I want to uh, just go on to here, I could start adjusting this a little bit and we could start changing it. So you could still have the ability because it's just keys in world space. Nothing else is uh, generated. So we can go from what it was and we can go off of it. And we have our motion really quickly in just a few minutes that we didn't do it. But we can also uh, do something different where we're not hitting the mark and we're getting something on here uh, going from here. So let's take a look at that one next.